Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Pro Gamer here with yet another NBA 2K Gauntlet Spotlight Sims tutorial. Now, for today's video, we are going to be going over the Nate Thurmond 68 point win challenge. So, if we can find the challenge somewhere in here, there we go. So, with this challenge, it is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Yet again, if we look at the terms, it is on Pro Difficulty. 8 minute quarters and win the game by 68 points to earn Dark Matter Nate Thurmond. Now, for this challenge, yet again, it's a pretty straightforward, pretty simple challenge. Basically on offense, what you want to be doing is you want to run into quick isolation plays, hit your snatchback threes, because especially being on pro difficulty, you're going to be able to knock your shots pretty easily. When it comes to using a special lineup, it's mostly just use whatever lineup you've got. If, if you've got mostly Dark Matter cards, even like cheap Dark Matter cards, I'm sure you'll be fine with this challenge. And uh, then on defense, I'd recommend running a full court press. The reason being why is it makes it much easier to try and get some quick steals. Especially with your CPU, getting steals on the CPU opposition. So rather than you have to getting all the on-ball steals, just off-ball CPU should be able to do it for you sometimes. Especially when they throw a full court pass. And it just kind of makes the offense for your opposition run much quicker. You know, they're not playing half-court press using up all the shot clock. Because at the end of the day, you want them to get through the shot clock as quick as possible. So you can get the ball, get as many possessions as possible. So you can get as many shot attempts as possible. So you can knock as many shots as possible. So you can win the game by 68 points. Which, yet again, doing this strategy, I won the game to anywhere from about 100 to 110 points. I think it was probably about 110. But yeah, especially if you're on pro difficulty, this challenge shouldn't be too hard. And uh, yeah, so we get into the jump ball. And we win it. So in this case, pass it back to Luka Doncic. He's going to be our main scorer. We go left bumper and X for quick isolation. Everyone gets out of the way. We snatch back on the right uh, on the right thumbstick. Pull back and shoot the ball. Yet again, that is our snatch back three. Now on defense, left on the D-pad as well as right across and full court press. So on the next bucket you make, that should set you up in a full court press. That is perfect what you want to do. And yeah, on defense, just stop them from doing anything. Get rebounds, smother them, etc. Yet again on offense, come down the quick isolation. Snatch back, pull the shot, and knock it. Eventually with your main shooter, if you keep shooting with the same play, you are going to eventually get your like a shooting takeover, which is good. As long as that card has shooting takeover. Uh, if they do, make sure you're shooting with that card because it's going to make it so much easier to get. And even right there, yet again, you saw Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on defense, almost just get an off-ball steal. That is why we're playing this full court press. See if we can get a couple of them off-ball steals. And see if we can get them, hopefully, in the backcourt, which is uh, even better. But uh, if not, that is fine. Yet again, just let them do what they got to do on defense. Try to stop them from scoring. Force them into those bad animations. There we go. Yet again, we get the ball on offense. Quick isolation. Come all the way down. Snatch back. Pull the shot. Green it. And uh, yeah, so I definitely make sure you have a point guard you can green your shots with so much easier. It's just going to make it easier if it's with your point guard because when you're inbounding the ball, it's going straight to your point guard so it saves you spending precious time trying to pass the ball to someone else. So, there we go. Yet again on offense. Get it back to your point guard. In my case, Luca. Quick isolation. Run down. Snatch back. Pull the shot. Knock it. So, yet again, on this inbound, just try and play D. Try and smother their point guard, Steph Curry. So, there you go. So, he gets it. Smother him up. There we go. So there's a perfect example of a quick steal and a quick two points you can get. Basically saving yourself another possession. If you can do that multiple times in the game, that is going to save you a lot in the in the long run. And then as you can also see right now with my Luka Doncic, he had his, has his shooting takeover badge activated. Yet again, kind of sagged off. I'm in there a bit. I kind of want the ball in offense. So yet again, we can see he's got a shooting badge activated. So as I can now show you with the shooting badge, he's going to green things so much easier. If you have a guy with the shot creator, oh, the shot creator badge, uh, just try and get their badge activated. It's going to make things a whole lot easier. And then the other thing I want to show you as well, if I can foul them, or not. Okay, so we'll go through a quick another offense yet again. Same thing as before. Quick isolation. Go on their side. Pull back. Don't forget on the left stick when you pull back. So you pull back. You can also pull back on the left stick to move like an extra step or two back. Kind of an animation glitch, I guess, to create a little bit more space. I don't know if you call it a glitch. But anyway, the other thing I want to mention is, if you happen to get to the end of the game, so let's just say whatever reason, the offense has been really good for the CPU. They've just been knocking all their shots, all their threes. You've been struggling to stop them from scoring. What are you going to do? It's like, 
a couple minutes left at the end of the game, you're like a couple of points away from reaching the 68 point mark. What do you do? Now, my recommendation is have guys, especially a, an extra point guard and shooting guard in your lineup, like in your 11th and 12th man spot. So when you get to the end of the game, you know, they are just keep fouling. Just keep fouling, because as you guys can see down below, you foul, the shot clock stops. So in this case, yes, they can get a couple of points and shoot some twos uncontested. But at the end of the day, if you're shooting threes and you're greening all your threes, you should be able to get another three. Yeah, again, clock hasn't even started. I get the ball at the halfway line. Snatch back. So that is a three-point shot in about five seconds, pretty quickly. So if they're hitting their free throws, sure, they're getting two points. But you're getting that extra point if you're knocking your if you're knocking your shots. So yet again, just come down, foul them. That's fine. In this case, yes, I know all my fouls have been on Luca. But if you're playing a regular game, some guys are going to have a different amount of fouls. You probably already have like say three or four fouls by the time you get to the end of a quarter anyway. So you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, occasionally the CPU might miss a shot, which will make things even easier for you. But uh, yeah, that is basically what you do if you get right to the end of the game and you're like a couple of points off which of completing the challenge, which for the most part, I reckon you should be able to knock this out completely. Like, I'm sure you guys will be able to win by 100, but yeah, just make sure you've got a guy that can shoot, knock your shots, go for your rebounds otherwise, play that full court press, try and get those quick little steals like we showed you on that one possession. And uh, yeah, that is basically the video, guys. That is the challenge. That is how to complete the Nate Thurmond 68-point challenge. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the social media links in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Whoever that's on, I don't know, but I'm sure we'll see. So uh, anyway, guys, I'll catch you around. Until then, see ya.